In this video, we'll do another question looking at complex transformations. We're told the transformation T from the Z plane where Z is equal to X plus IY to the W plane where W is equal to U plus IV is given by W is equal to 3 over 2 minus Z where Z cannot be equal to 2. We need to show that under T, the straight line with equation 2Y equals X is transformed to a circle in the W plane with centre 3 over 4, comma 3 over 2, radius 3 over 4, root 5. OK, so let's write this out. We've got W is equal to 3 over 2 minus Z. What I want to do is make Z the subject. So multiplying both sides by the denominator, we're going to have 2 minus Z and dividing through by W, 3 over W. So just rearranging, Z will be equal to 2 minus 3 over W. I'm now going to write W as U plus IV. So Z will be equal to 2 minus 3 over U plus I. I'm now going to realise the denominator of this fraction. So what we're going to have then is Z will be equal to 2 minus 3, and we're going to have U plus IV, and we're going to multiply by the complex conjugate U minus IV. So we need to multiply the top by U minus IV also. So what we're going to have then, Z will be equal to 2 minus, and then we're going to have 3, the quantity U minus IV, and then once we've realised this uh, denominator, we're just going to have u squared plus v squared. I'm now going to combine the fraction. So let's combine the fractions. We've got 2. Uh, so what we're going to have, we're going to have 2u squared plus v squared minus 3 lots of u minus iv, all over the common denominator of u squared plus v squared. We know Z can be written as X plus IY. So I'm going to write X plus IY. And then in the numerator, I'm going to collect the real and imaginary parts. So we're going to have 2U squared plus 2V squared. Then we're going to have minus 3U. They are the real parts. And that's over U squared plus V squared. And then if we look at the imaginary parts, we're going to have minus 3 multiplied by minus IV. So that's going to be plus 3 IV, and that's all going to be over u squared plus v squared again. Now, in the original question, we're told that x is equal to 2y. So if we just consider now, we've got x is equal to 2u squared plus 2v squared minus 3u over u squared plus v squared. We've got y is equal to 3v over u squared plus v squared. Now, we're told that uh, x is equal to 2y, so we can say 2y is equal to x. Therefore, what we're going to write now is the following. We're going to say 2u squared plus 2v squared minus 3u divided by u squared plus v squared will be equal to 2 lots of y, which is going to give me 6v over u squared plus v squared. We can uh, get rid of the denominators now and simply express this in terms of u and v. And I'm going to split this now by 2. So I'm going to say u squared plus v squared minus 3 over 2u is going to be equal now to 3v. So all I've done is divide it through by uh, the 2. So bringing the 3v over to this side and completing the square, we can have u minus half a coefficient, which will be 3 over 4. We square that term, and that's going to give me now minus 9 over 16. So minus 9 over 16 plus V. Now remember, we're going to be subtracting this from both sides, so that's going to be minus and taking half a coefficient, 3 over 2, all squared. And this is going to give me, what's that going to give me? 9 over 4. If I put it into 16s, that's going to give me uh, 36 over 16, and that's equal to 0. So if you want to leave it at that stage um, as 9 over 4, you're more than welcome to do so. So what we've got then is u minus 3 over 4, all squared, plus v minus 3 over 2, all squared, is going to be equal to, adding the constants to the other side, 45 over 16. Now this is in the form u minus a all squared plus v minus b all squared is equal to r squared. So what we can say then is this is going to be a circle and we're going to have now the centre which is going to be 3 over 4 comma 3 over 2 and then the radius is going to be the square root of 45 over 16 and the square root of 45 over 16 rooting 45 is going to give us now 3 root 5, 
root in 16 is going to give us 4. So there we go. There's the radius, there's the circle, centre, and we've simply uh, set those equal, put them now, 2y is equal to x, and then expressed w in terms of a circle.